Hey guys, DM Cubing, and today we're gonna make a magnetic Guoguan Shinghan 2x2 speed cube. Hey guys, DM Cubing here, and today I have a tutorial for the magnetic Guoguan Shinghan 2x2, a very popular 2x2, and it's a very easy mod. It's very much like doing a Waylong GTS, the QB pieces have removable caps, so accessing the areas where to put the uh, magnets is very easy. So you just pull the caps off and then kind of tighten the entire cube down so it doesn't move around on you, and then putting in the magnets is a breeze. So here's my tutorial. Here are the things you'll need. Of course, you'll need the cube. You'll need 48 neodymium magnets. For this project, I use grade N35 4 mm by 2 mm magnets. Honestly, the end result was a bit too strong for my liking and I'm sure other people's likings. So you might want to consider a 4 mm by 1 mm magnet and then maybe just kind of experiment on what grade works best. You'll need your favorite adhesive. I like to use Gorilla Brand Super Glue, the heavy impact formula. You'll need something to apply that super glue with, like a wooden stick or a, a toothpick with its uh, tip snipped off. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver to adjust the tensions of the cube. You might need a razor blade to scrape off any extra residual super glue that you've got in places that it shouldn't be. And you might need some tweezers to remove the occasional errant magnet that goes where it shouldn't. Here's the polar arrangement of the magnets within the 2x2 cube. You see that N represents north and S represents south. Now when we put the magnets in, we're not so particularly concerned that we use the true north end of the magnet and the true south end of the magnet. What we're concerned about is that we just repeat the placement the same way over and over. The uh, magnets are equally as strong on one end as they are the other. This is just to familiarize yourself with the opposite natures of the opposite nature of the magnets within the layout of the cube. You'll notice this repeating pattern if you look at the central, the top, north and south. If you were to rotate the cube towards yourself, you'd notice that N and the S would be the same. Even if you flip the cube over to the other side or rotate it left and right, that arrangement is always going to be north on the left, south on the right at the upper top. This is just to show the pairing of magnets within the cube. This cube weighs in at 62.6 .6 grams before magnets. After the magnetic conversion, our cube will weigh about 71 grams. Disassembling the cube is a breeze. We don't have to take it completely apart. We just remove the uh, QB piece caps. And this is easily done by taking your fingernail and just prying from the center part of the cube outward and the caps come out in this fashion. Here we see the exact location of where the magnet should be placed. And the QB pieces have this little ledge inside of them that really shouldn't interfere with the uh, placement of the magnets as long as you keep the magnet where I'm showing here illustrated in these pictures. Now's a good time to tighten down the cube if you haven't done so already. We don't want any of the sides of the inner workings moving while we're placing magnets. This could result in a catastrophe, so we want it fairly tight. After tightening the cube and prior to gluing, it's important that we square the cube up. That means making sure that all the sides are perfectly flush with one another, perfectly level across the top as you can see here. Here I will illustrate the procedure for gluing in magnets in picture form and then I'll include some video. Make sure that you mark one end of your stick of magnets so that you're removing your magnets from the opposite end of that which is marked. Gluing in the magnets is fairly simple and we'll be doing them in pairs, first the left magnet and then next the right magnet. You'll start by first putting a small drop of glue under the retaining post, as shown here. Then quickly remove a magnet from the stick of magnets and place the stick on the right side and then the magnet to be glued in on the left side. Its attraction will pull it into position. Within a few seconds the glue will begin to dry and will hold it by itself. Then you can carefully remove the stick of magnets. Then to glue in the next magnet, we put a drop of glue on the opposite side. We remove a magnet from the stick and then we place it where it belongs. We follow up by placing a drop of glue over each glued in magnet and then we repeat this 23 more times throughout the cube. Thank you. 
After all the magnets have been glued in place, it's time to sit the cube undisturbed on a flat surface to give the super glue time to fully cure. I usually let my cube sit overnight before reassembling and lubing. After the glue's completely dried, it's time to loosen the cube back up and make sure that it moves smoothly. Occasionally, a little bit of super glue will get in between the parts, so check these flat surfaces here for any deposits or little extra drops of super glue that may have gotten on there. And if that happens, just scrape it off. You do this, and then it's time to lubricate and reassemble. Well, that's about it, guys. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and that your cube turns out great. I know this video is a little bit on the short side. I'm intentionally working for brevity. It actually took four days to do a shorter video, so go figure. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And happy cubing. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>